Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, with the AM Volatility Report. Let's talk about what's going on in the market. But first, a couple events coming up. Don't forget we've got the four-day boot camp that starts next Tuesday. So if you are a uh, gold member, this is free. If you are an annualized subscriber to Option Put Live, this is free. Um, if you are not, it's only $247. We normally would charge like $400, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, and, uh, you know, and if you do enroll, I'll give you my Silver Synthetics course for free. All right. So, let's talk about, oh, oh, and uh, for Option Pit students, must be an active student, Professional Trader Summit in July, we're going to have a really, really good time. And uh, it's from the 29th through the 31st, check out the Cubs. We're going to um, do a live Option Block podcast. We're going to have some awesome guest speakers. So uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a can't miss. If you are really interested in uh, professional trading, and you consider yourself serious, this is a conference you must be at. All right, so now let's talk about the market. Um, boy, we got a couple of things uh, creeping people out. Um, you know, that rate move over the last couple of days, the move of the boon has been uh, scared a lot of people. Um, you've also seen a lot of pent up fear tomorrow is the Greek deadline and non-farm payrolls all in one. And so um, if the VIX wasn't up today and pricing in some fear, I would think that um, the market is is crazy. Now, that said, it's not like we're doing that much. We've been stuck in a decent holding pattern now for a couple of days. Um, you know, we've had some a little bit of interday range. But if you really look at where things are trading. I mean, look at the look at the range that, that they're building here. All right, now bring it in tighter. Just bring it into like the last month. I mean, talk about a tight range. It's nothing. So, you know, we've been extremely range bound, and yet the VIX has been creeping itself higher. I think, um, you know, the market's just not going to allow for an overly discounted VIX. And, um, you know, that just might be the, the way of the, the way it, it is. All right. Uh, with VIX, you've got oil down off a little bit, but that's been in a, in a bit of a range. You can see volatility up there. And that's mostly because of non-farm stuff and uh, currencies. You can see that the, the euro made a nice move higher. Uh, things have stabilized a bit. But that was an, a nice move in the euro. So, um, you know, if you look at the VIX curve, uh, there was a period of time this morning where things got pretty close to, to backward. Not quite, but uh, we, the, you can see the cash and June and July are pretty much on top of each other. If you take a look at the curve, pull this up. I mean, you can see we had a brief moment where it, it got over. It's, it's not doing that now because this is now 1490. So things have caught up. But you can see that the curve uh, has certainly flattened. So if I go VIX, VXV, VXST, you can kind of see where everything is on this curve, on the cash curve. Um, VXST is over. VIX, that's always a sign that there's some event risk going on, and that's where we are today. Um, now, do I think the market necessarily is going to stay down? Maybe not. There's been kind of some jostling and moving up and down. Um, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to see us turn around, but I think the VIX is going to be up all day, whether we rally or not. So that's just something to be aware of. And to take into trading is that, you know, the VIX is going to be up on the day and may not track the S&P that well because tomorrow is non-farm payrolls and uh, this alleged Greek deal. All right, folks, if you've got questions about what we're up to, you can email me, mark at or you can call me 
888-TRADE-01. That's 888-872-3301. Uh, All right, folks. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.